Hello everyone and welcome to our vlog. As you know, I'm Mairead and I'm your SU President. And I'm Noel, your SU Vice President. This vlog entry isn't like any of our others. It's a quick short one in relation to a petition for Brian Cowan's visit to Mary Eye this Friday. We're going to try and keep this short and sweet. Basically, Brian Cowan is coming this Friday to open the new Tara building in Mary Eye. First off, the building would not exist if it wasn't for the funding for the government. So for that, we are very grateful. However, at the moment, there are three key issues that we are campaigning strongly against that have been rumoured to come up in the budget this year. And if they do, they will really, really affect all students nationwide, not just Mary Eye students. But we feel really strongly against them. And that's why we want to present him with the letter and have it signed with all of your names. So it's really important that you come down to the SU and sign it. The three key issues are as follows, just to keep you in the loop. First of all, there's a potential rise in the registration fee. At the moment, it's €1,500. Euro. It's been rumoured to rise to 2500 or €3,000. Euro. That's an astronomical increase. It's ridiculous and it's completely unacceptable. And although they've said fees won't come in, it's just like college fees in disguise. It's not OK and it's far too much financially to put on people at this time and we completely disagree with it. The second issue that we disagree with is the rumoured uh, deduction in the maintenance grant, which a lot of students, not only in Mary Eye but across Ireland, receive. Uh, that'll be on top of the cut they made to it last year, which obviously the people who are receiving it already are in need of the money in the first place. So it doesn't make sense for people to have this money cut because it could mean them not being able to go to college or dropping out. Also, they plan to completely cut the Student Assistance Fund, which is a fund in the college open to all students who are in any financial difficulty. Difficulty Again, if that is cut completely, some students may have to drop out of college. And finally, it's not rumoured to come up in the budget, but it is a huge issue affecting students at the moment, and it particularly graduates. It's all over the media at the moment, is the rise in students that have to, graduates that have to immigrate. There is roughly 100,000 unemployed recent graduates under the age of 25. That is a crazy, crazy amount of people when there's about 400,000 that are unemployed. The government are doing very little at the moment or have shown us very little they've been doing to tackle that. Many people are actually forced to immigrate, which sounds ridiculous in 2010. And we just think it's really unfair because this time next year, another thousand of you who are in Mary Eye now will have graduated and could potentially be in the same situation. So we really want to highlight that aspect of it too. All of what we said is contained in this two-page letter to Brian Cowan, which Mairead will be giving him on Friday, along with the petition which we are literally pleading with you to come down to the SU and sign it. The more names, the stronger the petition seems. Also, the details of the letter are available on our website, mysu.ie, as well as Mairead's blog for this week, which is also on mysu.ie. So please, please call down to the SU and sign the petition. Like anything, it's not going to have any kind of effect unless there's a united front on it. There's no point in me handing this over with maybe 50 names. There's 3,000 students in Mary Eye. And if any are going by the SU between now and noon on Friday, there's no reason why you can't sign it as well. We really, really don't want these things to come in the budget because it will really affect every single one of you. And we feel very, very strongly against it. And we plan on campaigning against it. Thank you very much. Thank you.